Hello everyone, this video is presented by Carbon Lab in which we explain one of our recent research articles that was published in Journal of Power Sources. The title is Multi-Scale 3D Hybrid Carbon Microelectrodes with Candle Suit and Reduced Graphene Oxide Nanoparticles as a Binder-Free Anode. This is an approach beyond 3D for a high rate and high performance lithium-ion battery. In the lithium-ion battery, it has uh, anode, cathode and electrolyte and a separator. Uh, when, uh, whenever there is a potential difference applied across the electrodes, the lithium ions move from cathode to anode and intercalate to the post like structures of carbon. During the discharging process, the lithium ions spontaneously move back to cathode by allowing the electrons to flow through the external circuit which is connected to the load. These are the various reversible reactions that are happening during charging and discharging. In commercial batteries, they use graphite as an anode material because of its good dimensional stability and cyclic behavior. But it has a serious limitation with its uh, specific capacity, which is very much limited to 372 milliampere per gram. So we are trying to replace this graphite anode with a hybrid and hierarchical electrode so as to improve the storage capability of the anode, thereby improving the energy density of the lithium ion batteries. So let's see how we can prepare such three-dimensional microelectrodes. So we have followed CMAMS technique to fabricate such 3D microelectrodes. Initially, SVA2050 was taken and pre-baked, sorry, spin coated on a stainless steel substrate, and then we it is pre-baked to remove an excess solvent and it is exposed to UV rays through a mask, photo mask. The parts which are exposed are getting cross-linked, and parts which are unexposed are getting washed away in the developing step. So leading to uh, this kind of SUA 3D microstructures. Later, these SUA 3D microstructures were uh, pyrolyzed at 900 degrees Celsius to give rise to these kind of carbon microelectrodes on stainless steel wafer. And we put these uh, carbon microelectrodes on stain bare stainless steel wafer as an anode with using coin cell setup. And if you see the cyclic charge, the charge discharge stability plot, there is an increment of uh, specific capacity with the cycle number with the simultaneous decrease in the Coulombic efficiency. This, this is happening mainly because of the lithium unwanted lithium plating phenomena, which is occurring on this uh, carbon microelectrodes on stainless steel. Uh, wave. So let's understand this uh, lithium plating phenomena in much detail. So uh, during the lithiation process, the lithium ions uh, intercalate into the carbon uh, structures and wherever it encounters the stainless steel substrate, it gets plated on. So the intercalation or the deintercalation with, on the, with the carbon materials is highly reversible, whereas this plating, plating and the stripping from the uh, substrate is partially reversible, thereby here, the freshly deposited lithium reacts with electrolyte solvents, forming the electrically insulating compounds, thereby consuming the lithium ions irreversibly. So, we need to avoid this electrolyte contact with the stainless steel substrate to avoid any formation of such compounds, as you see, as you see in this figure. So, we're trying to re fill those. Uh, gaps between the carbon microelectrodes with the carbon material. We have chosen RGO and candle strip for the job. And here we can see how we can fabricate this hierarchical carbon microelectrodes. We have followed the similar process technique till we fabricate this carbon micro pores. But later on, we have drop casted this candle suit and RGO separately on these carbon microelectrodes to give rise these kind of uh, hierarchical structures. If you see the charge discharge stability plots, the Coulombic efficiencies for the both the electrodes is near 100, whereas it's much improved when compared to the 3D carbon microelectrodes on the bare stainless steel wafer. In case of candle suit based hierarchical electrodes, it has delivered a capacity around 460 milliampere per gram after 100 cycles, whereas the graphene oxide based hierarchical electrode has delivered a capacity around 562 milliampere per gram. And this GH, GHE electrode has outperformed uh, CHE mainly because it is having highly uh, interconnected and conductive graphene oxide nanoflakes which are present and uh, which is highly disordered, which has a highly disordered content so that it can reversibly store more number of lithium ions in it. The 3D diffusion model is developed to investigate the time-dependent distribution of lithium ions through the hierarchical electrodes. A finite element method is deployed to construct a diffusion model. 
We have used the COMSOL multiphysics simulation platform here. The movement of lithium ions in the electrode was considered due to the concentration gradient, which is described by the fixed second law of diffusion. The geometry of these structures were based on the optical profile measurements. There was the effect to diffusion of lithium ions in the hierarchical electrodes is observed here, which is almost 63% higher than the flat shaped electrodes. You see, the post cycling analysis of the CH and GH, we have decrypted the cells to check the morphology. And it is evident that the morphology of these hybrid microelectrodes is retained even after cycling for 100 times. And most importantly, these structures retained intact to the substrate. Then, in we have in this work, we have developed the novel strategies to fabricate hierarchical electrodes, and we have successfully addressed this unwanted lithium plating problem, uh, thereby improving the cyclic stability of these microelectrodes. And we got a chance to investigate both the materials and design aspects of the electrode materials to achieve high performance. And thanks, thank you for your time and patience.